Hello, my name is James Sampson, and I'm located here today at the town square of Prescott, Arkansas. George and Maria Villages of El Dorado, Arkansas, completed the mural behind me just 13 years ago in the year 2000. It ultimately cost the town $46,000. It was painted directly on the side of an old flower shop by the only stoplight in town. This piece was constructed using various scenes of what people throughout the town felt to be important to them and the town's history. This makes the artwork that much more important to the because it touches the background of each and every visitor in some way. I will now discuss each scene in detail and help you understand why they were chosen for the mural. First off, we have the Old Iron Bridge. The reason for the scene of the Old Iron Bridge is not only because it served as an important part of history between two towns, but also remains important to many residents to this day. The bridge was built over 100 years ago and used to serve as a connection through the bottomlands of Oklahoma and Prescott, Arkansas. Many people didn't want this connection for reasons civil and illegal. This led to the repetitive burning of the bridge. It took a dump truck full of gravel to collapse part of the bridge to make the restoration stop. Although the bridge has been closed to traffic for many years, many people still go to the bridge to see its unique structure and some to jump off the bridge into the river below. Now onto the steam engine and early image of Prescott. The image of Prescott in its earlier years represents what we have come from and inspires the community to grow. It also serves as a way to teach children how things have evolved. Along with the old buildings, a steam engine was included to remind us of our history with the railroad as well as how it currently affects the community. The railroad is located in the center of the mural as the railroad runs through the center of town. 24 blocks are located on each side. This was done in the beginning because the basis of the town was the railroad. Now that the use of the railroad by the public is almost obsolete, it still influences the town mainly in frustration of the sound. Next, we have the field and lumber industry. Being a small town, agriculture is an important part of the community. Not everyone, but many residents own cattle to help provide their income, and in many cases, entertainment. If not a farmer, many other residents work, on, work at sawmills. I know this is only two job classifications, but jobs are scarce around the area, and these two happen to be the most common. Next we have the deer. These are located on the mural because of the influence they have had on the community. Growing up here, hunting was not only an important part of my life, but those of others as well. I can honestly say that there isn't anyone in town that hasn't been affected by deer in some way. To the inexperienced hunter trying for their first whitetail, to the master hunter chasing down a big whitetail, or simply amusing yourself by counting the deer you see on the side of the road. Deer are a deep part of the culture. Next we have the formal elements. The artist chose the subject matter they did because it allows the content to be more meaningful to the community. The artist created balance within the mural by using an odd number of scenes. This created a symmetrical layout allowing, allowing them to make a focal point in the center of the piece. The value of the white smoke from the train is much lighter than the rest of the mural, drawing your eye to the center. Line is also used to create the focal point. If you notice, the train is the only piece of artwork that drops below the line at the bottom, making it stand out even more. The use of different hues allows the artist to transition from each scene smoothly while still allowing the change in scenes to be recognized. The naturalistic view of the artwork is idealized because each scene is painted to show what it, looked like, what it would look like in a perfect scenario, something that rarely occurs in nature. For example, the water at the Old Iron Bridge is shown as blue. In reality, the water remains more of a muddy color. Blue is often sought after. A piece of artwork that may have influenced the Prescott mural is that of Jim Cabrone. Jim is a South Dakota artist that designed and painted a mural in Heron Lake to celebrate its centennial in 1983. This piece was remar remarkably similar. The two not only share common styles and traits such as being very large, painted directly on the side of a building, and use a, ver a variety of scenes that transition to make up the overall piece, but they share the same purpose. Although, th although the scenes are somewhat different, they still represent what the community thinks is important. Historical paintings such as this one have been a major influence on other small towns, inspiring them to construct similar pieces. I have chosen this piece because it represents what I have came from as a child and young adult. I can relate directly to each scene, as I should be able to, because this is my hometown. Growing up here, I can remember the countless stories and memories I've heard and shared simply because of this mural. 
It tends to spark that remember when among the community. Thank you.